Seven-year-old boy in Uniontown has been stripped of what little independence he had after someone stole a special stroller. This is something that was made just for him. Now he has to be carried everywhere he goes and can't go to school. Brenda Waters has that story. New at six. A stroller specially made for a seven-year-old and mental handicaps was stolen here in Uniontown. Well, the family has it back now, but it's in pretty bad shape. His kick bar is completely backwards. It's supposed to go down like this one right here. This is completely turned upside down. The neck brace is gone. Um, the kick bars in the back were all messed up. And like I said, I don't know the extent of the damage mm -hmm. because we haven't had an assessment from New Motion, the company that we actually yeah. got it from. So I don't know for sure, but there's definitely damage done to it. This special stroller belongs to seven-year-old Cameron Sims, who is blind, deaf, and nonverbal. He has CMV, which is cyclomegalovirus. It affected his brain when my daughter was carrying him. So he has no control over his neck. He has, he has no muscle tone, period. Mm -hmm. So that stroller was specifically made for him to be able to sit up, to have his head up. The stroller was stored outside instead of inside Ford's apartment because of the numerous steps. I have to go up these flight of stairs, these ones right here, and then also there's a flight of stairs once you go into the apartment. The stroller is very heavy and there's no ramp for me to push it up. So for a year and a half, the stroller was parked on the sidewalk under a tarp when not in use. No problems until Monday afternoon. That's when Ford posted on social media, offering a $500 reward for the return of the stroller, money she says she had no intentions to pay. A woman took the bait. Immediately upon me putting that on Facebook, literally two minutes later, I got a call, a message call on my Facebook page saying, oh, I found your grandson's stroller. But even with the return of the stroller, it's no good to Cameron. He still can't return to school can't hold up his head and must be carried everywhere. Meantime, Uniontown police say they have no suspects yet, and this case is still under investigation. Brenda Waters, KDKA TV News.